What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Trucker's Life. I'm Jorge Navarro. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you've already been a subscriber, welcome back guys. And I do welcome all the new subscribers that we have gotten in the past couple of days. Thank you guys for joining me. And here we are again at home still. Um, I did get, I am feeling a lot, lot better. I did get released from the hospital, which is awesome. Um, shout out to all the nurses at the hospital and doctors, um, especially the nurses. You guys were the best people that anybody could ever um, ask for, you know, to, to, to care for you. As far as just the attitudes, are always real nice. Um, normally, you know, I've kind of, well, in my past experiences, I've had nurses that are um, a little less than nice, put it that way. But these ladies are great. Anyways, um, since I'm still at home and then there was like this uh, pretty special event going on right now. Um, a train called um, Big Boy is uh, traveling across parts of the United States and it is uh, happened to be real close to my house. So that's where I'm headed to right now to try to see if I can um, intercept it or I could see it somewhere. And it looks like okay 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 I was expecting to get a little further on this uh, to see if I could see it but um, it seems like this is uh, one of the spots it's gonna go by just all of a sudden I'm here at, a, at this uh, area pretty cool pretty cool um, I'm gonna get out set up some cameras um, sorry guys I'm driving I shouldn't be driving and recording that is correct as a trucking channel this is not a something I should be showing but nonetheless I'm just trying to find a place to park and uh, set up my cameras and see if we can get some footage of this thing coming by which is pretty exciting it looks like it's getting closer by because there's more people um, I can tell there's more people setting up getting ready to check it out um, well you know what I'm gonna go up a little further I don't want to so yeah, I'm gonna come up here a little further. I don't want to um, impede traffic in any type of way. That's definitely not what I'm planning on doing. So I'm just go ahead and pull off here and uh, park safely off the roadway. Get all my camera equipment ready and let's get out there and get some pictures of this thing. I'm pretty excited. going through over there there'll be footage on here um, trying to get it I'm trying to get it where I can get the video while it's going down um, the tracks so that's what I'm kind of waiting for right now I'm kind of I'm on an on-ramp so I can just get on as soon as uh, I see the train it should be right over there that's where we're gonna be able to see it for the uh, well for the second time and then uh, try to follow it without uh, 
impeding traffic or being dangerous either so uh it's pretty fun though uh being able to be so close to something so old and it's actually functional and going down these tracks is pretty amazing um i'm pretty excited about it so i'm just gonna sit here and wait uh, for it for it to take off or to take off to come by and then i'll try to chase it i wish there was like a feeder road where i could just be right next alongside of it but beggars can be choosers and we got to deal with what we can and we got to figure things out you know as we're going so hopefully it'll be coming it, it moved it was moving pretty quick i'm gonna say that it was moving pretty quick i was gonna go into a town uh the town of navasota texas and go in there and um you know park the truck and go um take more pictures and stuff but it's just gonna be crowded and it's not really what i want i just want to get uh, more of the uh the train going uh, down the tracks and uh, see if I can get some slow-mo or something it's gonna be a little difficult because that it's from where I'm at to the actual track is a little far especially for these GoPros and my um, my other camera well it, it's not as stable it's gonna be real jumpy if I try to do it with my other cameras so we're gonna try to do it with this and then try to zoom in and see if we can get um, a good view of the train but yeah, this is uh, pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool to uh, be able to experience something like this. Um, I know that, that, you know, the older generation probably uh, were even able to ride one. I know my parents um, from the country we're from, we were able to, they were able to ride a steam train. And um, so I've always wanted to do a train ride across country with my family, just never had a chance. But anyways, I'm starting to go a little bit off topic, but um, just waiting for it to go by and uh, we'll pick up as soon as uh, we get through chasing the train a little bit. So <laughs> see you guys in a little bit. I think we got the shot I know my audio is not gonna be as good because I don't have my microphone on here but I think we got the shot had to walk through all this uh. 
All right, we're a little dirty, but then we got what we needed. That was pretty cool. Kind of slowed down right here. Pull my pants up because falling off. That was pretty cool, guys. Like I said, I'd never seen anything. I've never seen one of these trains go down a, the tracks like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell. I do this for you guys, so you guys can have fun. I know this is not about trucking, but it's about my life, a trucker's life, and I am a trucker. So this is my life, and we're just out here having a good time. Instead of being at home bored, out chasing this tree, I mean chasing this tree, chasing this train, and now I'm full of uh, leaves and everything. And I did get in a little bit of trouble with a cop. Well deserved though, I deserved it. No arguments there. But again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. Love you guys, see you guys on the next one. Peace. I'm out of here.